as their average height. Louder gets it to Hargis on the baseline. Up with the first points of the day, it's Joe Bridgen, and Holy Cross takes the lead. Crowd into it early here at the Xfinity Center. A lot to cheer about with the number seven team in the nation. Their highest ranks since the beginning of the 2015 season. Ayala, first points of the season for the Terps. And look at what Eric Ayala did going right to the hole. Nice little hop step. And Holy Cross will go the other way. Hargis thinks about a three. Back to Pridgen, back to Hargis for three, and it's good. On the Naismith watch list this season for best player in the nation. Backdoor cut, up with the layup, and the foul. He'll head to the line looking to complete the three-point play. Again, last year, but then Anthony Cowan showing why he is one of the players, people in the country. The Terps will set up in their half-court defense. We'll keep an eye on that. They will likely employ a half-court press at some point. Butler goes to the hole. It's blocked by Cowan. It'll remain Holy Cross ball. In a good position. Holy Cross swings it around the outside. Now Louder will drive in. Up and under scoop layup is good to give the Crusaders the lead once again in the early going. Point guard duties. While they're both on the court, Cowan on the drive, goes strong to the hole. He's got himself his second layup of the day. Wiggins, they'll rely on him for the three-point shooting this season. He drives this time in the emphatic dunk to get the Xfinity Center on its feet. And just another look at Aaron Wiggins, the emphatic slam, as you said, Joe, and then flex on him. Notice two three-point lines out there. More on that in a moment. Louder. Comes inside, gets it out to Hargis. He pulls up from three. Already one for one, now two for two. Maybe that'll get him going. Ryan Wade finds Nego. Nice backdoor cut into Pridgen. The beautiful dime from Connor Nego. Players already that one mass substitution. Drew Louder cuts inside. As it knocked away by Anthony Cowan Jr. Picked up by Sorrell Smith Jr. Hell coming in from Makai. Ayala with the smooth handles, but he can't finish it off. Good defense there from Pridgen. A steal from Marcel and the hammer. Mikel Mitchell with the board. Wiggins handling it with this team that's on the court right now. High off glass and he will head to the line. Well, Wiggins, I mean, that is a beautiful move and a strong finish for Wiggins. Wiggins could duplicate Herter's success, though he missed that free throw, could not complete the three-point play. But he swats that one in the front row and flexes again. Aaron Wiggins. Louder comes around the screen from Pridgen, gives it up to Butler. Baseline against Ayala, he gets the teardrop to go. Second bucket of the night for Butler. To just hold on to that one or take it to the hole, and Mark Turgeon was not pleased with that. Louder pulls up from a deep three, and he makes it. A big swing right there. Gets it out to Smith. Two for two already. Can't go three for three. Morcell gets the board. Inside, Wiggins can't get the dunk to go, but the ball still finds its way through the hoop. Cowan bypasses the three, goes inside to Scott, has it knocked away momentarily, takes it to the rack, and gets the bucket to go while he'll head to the line. Anthony Cowan gets it over to Wiggins. Inside, Jalen Smith can't get it to go. The follow from Dante Scott as he skies in the air for that one. Bridgen comes away with it, gets it out to Louder. Takes it himself. Nice left up and under layup. We're up by six at halftime before they ultimately lost in Ann Arbor. Bridgen pump fake, gets Smith to fly by, takes it himself high off glass, and he gets the roll. Marcel with it. Spin move inside, lost his balance, refound it, and able to get the bucket to go. Pridgen working on Smith, bit of a mismatch, size advantage. Well, that's another advantage for the Terps. Jalen Smith coming in to clean that one up. Let's, let's get another look at that, because it is worth it. That is a clean, powerful. In the corner for Fawn, nice backdoor pass, but it's blocked by Smith. Nine seconds to go. Cowan pushes the tempo. Takes it to the rack. Nice little Euro step to Morsell. The dunk with three seconds remaining. But when you shoot as well as they have, it's good. And four of ten from beyond the arc as well. They go inside with Pridgen, and he gets things going here in the second half. Even if Lindo might start the majority of the games over Morsell. Down low to Pridgen. Gets Wiggins to leave his feet. And able to put the finger roll home. Let's go, Maryland! Let's go, Maryland! 
Cowan tries to thread the needle, backdoor cut for Wiggins, and Verbeek makes a great play to save that one inbounds. Morcel pushes the tempo, lays it off for Jalen, he puts it home. We talked about it in the first game. Everybody thought Anthony Cowan Jr. would be the first Cowan to put his feet on the court this season as Eric Ayala gets the hoop and the harm. It's Alex Cowan. Ayala takes this one strong and able to get the Terps offense going in the right direction. Nigo just realizes it, gives it up to Louder. Five to shoot. Spin move into the lane, gets the floater to go. Beautiful play by Drew Louder. But another look at this from Louder. Puts Smith in the spin cycle and then gets the teardrop to go. Side on Scott. Up strong, can't get it to go. Smith the board. Long outlet pass to Morsell, barely able to handle it. Inside to Cowan, the finger roll. A few really nice drives where he's contorted his body and found a way to get the bucket to go anyway. Cowan Jr. takes it inside to Smith with an easy layup. That's board number nine for Smith. Ayala from the corner for three. Got it. Continue his offensive success so far. A deep three, and he gets it to go. The success continues for Drew Louder, who is certainly the story this evening. Rather 17 point game, excuse me. I apologize, Joe. We highlighted Butler in the open and said he needs to be successful as Ayala. Get a look at this. I believe it's because of the tap on the backboard right there. Maybe just a force of habit, and he knew it right away, but Ayala, the slam. Bridge into Butler. Comes inside, looked like a walk. Maryland bench wanted it, they don't get it. Wiggins gets to steal anyway. Smith out in front of him. He goes himself, layup, good. But then they've come through in the second half. Butler swatted by Wiggins. That is block number three on the night for Wiggins. Known for his three-point shooting, which he hasn't made one tonight. So an interesting night for Wiggins. Somebody known for his blocks, Jalen Smith right there. He takes it the other way and gets the finger roll to go. The bench wanted a dunk to cap that one off. And there is that block by Smith. Just no chance for Louder. Jalen Smith, the Euro step. And the finger roll. Yeah, everyone who has touched the court, excluding Hart, who just came in, has scored at least one point. A nice dunk there by Hargis. Haven't called his name really since the this game. A look there at that very fine dunk. Mark Turgeon has to be happy with what he saw today as they look to build towards that Rhode Island game this weekend. Well, for the Terps and Mark Turgeon, a well-balanced attack.